Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to look at the file structure or how every file is arranged in AS Proto. So to understand file structure, we will first look at our normal Windows and Linux file structure. So if we look at the Windows file structure, uh, you'll see that everything is arranged inside uh, folders or directories. So we have uh, drives. So C drive, inside C drive, we have uh, different folders like program files and so on. So we have multiple folders, uh, one inside each other. And uh, inside the folders, we can have files. So Linux also has a similar structure where there are directories and inside directories, there are files and so on. But when it comes to AS400, uh, we do not uh, usually use folders, although there is an option to use IFS or integrated file system, but the uh, core uh, files or the core programs, for example, if you are writing a COBOL program in AS400, it will not be stored as a file inside a directory. Instead, the base structure of AS400 needs to be understood. So that is what we are going to look into today. So if we navigate to our AS400 screen, uh, uh, we can see that we are on the main menu. So if we have to look at the files of AS400, so how can we do that? So there is one command uh, which is uh, WRKOBJ. So WRKOBJ is for work object. So WRK stands for work and OBJ stands for objects. So WRKOBJ is work with objects. So if you type work OBJ and if you do F4, uh, it will give a prompt menu. And here you can type uh, any object you need to find. So now what is an object? So it needs to be understood that in AS400 everything is an object. So unlike uh, in other systems uh, where there are files and directories, in AS400 there are libraries and objects. So uh, the point here is that every single entity which exists in AS400 exists as an object. So every source file is an object every program is an object, every compiled program is an object, uh, every library is an object. So in AS400, the directories, uh, so instead of directories and files, uh, we have uh, libraries. And uh, so we have a main library, which is called the QSIS library. So all the objects in AS400 are stored in QSIS library in general. Uh, so QSIS stands for uh, so all libraries which start from Q are system libraries. So QSIS is a system library. So this is the main system library inside which all objects are available. So even QSIS libraries itself inside QSIS. Uh, so QSIS object is inside QSIS. So uh, we have other libraries like QGPL, which is general purpose library. We have QTemp, which is for storing temporary objects. We have QIBM where all the installed, externally installed components like IPM WebSphere application server, IPM Java, and other things are installed. So you, are, uh, you can create your own libraries as well. And those libraries will be stored inside uh, QSIS. So now we need to understand uh, what is a library. So we have looked at objects. So we have given examples. So what are objects? So we have given examples of this before. Object, everything is an object. So so for example, if there is a COBOL program, the source of the COBOL program is an object. After you compile it, the executable object which gets created, which can be executed directly by the uh, by the uh, executor or the operating system. So that also is an object. Uh, then every library, uh, every source physical file uh, is an object. So basically every entity inside is is an object as we spoke about before. So inside, uh, AS400, the first root level is libraries. So library is like uh, just similar to a folder structure. So you can imagine library to be a folder if you compare it with Windows. So inside libraries, uh, we do not usually create multiple libraries inside libraries. So like in Windows, uh, as you can see that there are folders inside of folders, but it is not the case in AS400. We do not have libraries inside libraries. Uh, usually the libraries are there at a single uh, one level inside QSIS. So if we have 100 libraries, all these 100 libraries will be inside QSIS. So uh, libraries do not exist inside each other as a general rule. They are at the same level. And uh, inside a library, you can create objects. Inside the library, you can create various kinds of objects. Like you can create a source physical file. 
a source physical file is uh, a file which can hold different uh, source programs so if you have 10 different cobol programs 10 different rpg programs all your programs will be held inside a source physical file so files can be stored inside libraries after you compile the cobol program it will be converted to an object that object will be stored inside the library so you can create your own library and as well as uh, the operating system has its own libraries so we'll go into the detail of libraries and objects and files and uh, what are some of the basic objects which are used in later videos today's video is for the overall view of what is the structure and how do you compare it with windows so as we have discussed the major main root level is a library inside library you can have files inside files you can have members so a member is equivalent to a program or member is equivalent to a text file or any uh, extension file in which you can write your code or in which data can be stored so we have libraries inside libraries we have files inside files we have members and objects are a separate entity or uh, these things are also objects and they are stored inside libraries as we have mentioned so we can look at some examples so if i have to look at all the objects inside qsys i can execute uh, the command star all library I can write QSS library and I can press enter. So this is a list of all the objects which is inside QSS. There is more of course they are written so I can do page down and uh, page up. So this list is non-exhaustive. This list is very big because everything inside is everything inside AS400 is inside QSS. So we have star lib as the type which means these are the libraries. Which these are the libraries which are created inside QSS. So inside QSIS, we have a lot of different things as well, but uh, basically at the top of this, all libraries have been listed. So this is one way to look at all the objects inside, which is work OBJ. So as we said, uh, QGPL is a general purpose library where all the files can be kept. QTemp is for temporary purpose uh, objects, which are regularly to be deleted. QIBM is for certain external installations and so on. So these are some major libraries which are available inside AS400. Uh, there are some commands which allow you to work with libraries or uh, so there, there is a concept called as a library list. So we'll first understand what is a library list. Uh, so in AS400, whenever you are signed into a session, after you log into AS400, uh, you have a certain set of libraries which are assigned to your session. So when I mean by assigned, uh, what I mean is I'll show you with an example. So if I press the, uh, so if I type the command dspl-ibl, so the, this command stands for display library list. So dsp stands for display, short form of display, lib stands for library, and this last l stands for list. So display library list. So if I execute this command, I get a list of all the libraries which are there uh, for my current login session. So what this means is that once I log into my system, I can, I'm, I'm allowed to execute or I will be able to execute only those objects or access only those objects directly without specifying explicitly the library name which are residing inside these libraries. So this is equivalent to uh, telling the system that these are the main libraries which are loaded when the system is logged in or uh, instead of uh, saying loaded, I can say that these are the list of libraries to which the user directly has access to or he does not need to explicitly specify the library name for accessing the objects inside of it. So for example, if I have an executable COBOL program inside uh, my own library or even if it's there inside QSIS, so it will mean that I can directly type the name of that uh, object and it will be accessible to me. So uh, basic library list uh, means that it will allow you to access the objects inside without accessing the library first. So this, these libraries can be assumed to be loaded into the system once you log into the system. So for example, if I have uh, two different libraries which are not in this list, that will mean that to use the objects inside uh, these two libraries, I'll have to specifically tell AS400 that I want to access this object of this library. But if it was there inside this library, which is already loaded, I could directly type in the name of the object in the call command and it will be able to execute that object. So these are the basic libraries which are loaded for my session. So there are certain commands which allow you to uh, 
work with libraries. So the first command which we look at, looked at is display library list. So DSPLIBL display library list is what we executed. So display library list will uh, give you in response the list of libraries which are currently loaded into your session, into your AS400 login session. So the next command is CAGCURLIB. CAGCURLIB. Uh, so if you look at this sessions, uh, this commands output. It says that b nande or b nande one actually is my library name and that is my stars URLIB. So this is my current library. So I am logged into my session and this is the first library uh, or my system's current library which is set. So my current library can also be changed. So to change the current library, I can use change current library. So if I go into my uh, command prompt again and if I execute chgcurlib which stands for chg which stands for change cur stands for current and lib will stand for library so change current library and if I press f4 I can change my current library so if I type in any other library name so instead of bnande1 I can type bnande2 and now if I execute uh, display library list command again I can see that one is gone from here and we have two here which is my which is marked as the current library. So the next command is change system library. So change system library will allow you to edit the list of libraries which are loaded by default into your system. EDT LIBL is also to edit the current library list for your session. So these uh, were the topics to be covered today and these cover only the basics of uh, what is the file structure and how everything is arranged inside AS400. So this is one of the introductory lessons to AS400, part four. If you have not watched parts one to three, uh, do look at them in my channel. And if you do like my videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you, bye bye.